Good evening, everybody. This is Alan Gaskell, and welcome to our highlights of the 1994 Nelson Mandela Friendship Soccer Series between Australia and South Africa. Let's first go back to last Wednesday night's game, the first in the series, at Hindmarsh Stadium in Adelaide, and here is Simon Pijaka. It was a historic occasion for both teams at Hindmarsh Stadium. Socceroo captain Paul Wade in his 100th appearance in Australian colours. The South Africans also showed their attacking flair. First time we've seen a good attempt from the South Africans. In the 10th minute, Aurelio Vidmar became the first Australian to score against South Africa in 39 years. But brother Tony wasn't going to be upstage. The Australians went to the break 1-0 up and in the second half continued to press forward. The South Africans had their chances. Then tragedy for the Socceroos as goalkeeper Joko Kalats went off with a broken collarbone. Mark Schwarzer was thrust into battle. Their injury to Kalats will keep him out of the game for eight weeks. But on the paddock, Aurelia Vidmar continued to cause havoc as the Socceroos drew first blood in the series. Simon Bajaka with highlights of last Wednesday's first match in the Nelson Mandela Friendship Series and a 1-0 victory to Australia. Well, so to this afternoon's match at the Sydney Football Stadium, played in front of almost 18,000 noisy fans, tremendous atmosphere, a magnificent day in Sydney. The pitch here was in good condition. Let's go now to the highlights and our commentator is Andy Pascalidis. There's been some great promotions here at the Sydney Football Stadium for this second match in the Nelson Mandela Friendship Series. Australia has two new faces for the second game. Those changes are Mark Schwarzer is in for the injured Zelko Kalatz and South Melbourne's Jason Polak comes into the midfield for Paul Ocon. Ned Zelic was expected to play today, but he failed a fitness test just minutes before the kickoff and is out of the game. While Jason Van Bloek is on the bench. South Africa welcomes back from suspension number 15, Dr. Kumalo, who's regarded as the biggest sports star in South Africa, who replaces Eric Tinkler, while Daniel Mudau is promoted for the injured Brendan Augustine. South Africa lost the first leg 1-0, but you can expect a much different performance today. Mark Schwarzer starts his second international. This is his fourth international. He's come off the bench twice. He did it away to Canada in the World Cup qualifiers, and he did it again last Wednesday. Steve Compella, the number four, the captain of South Africa, the most experienced player in their lineup. His 19th international. And Paul Wade, his 101st appearance in the green and gold. The referees, the referee rather, is uh, Richard Lorenz. And Captain Socceroo, Paul Wade, will lead by example from the centre of that midfield. Now, what will happen if, for argument's sake, South Africa win 1-0, we go into extra time, sudden death extra time. The two legs are equal on aggregate after 90 minutes here. We'll have that extra 30 minutes. Richard Lorenz, the most experienced referee in Australia, he started refereeing back in 1966. He's refereed over 300 National League games. This is his 25th international, of course. He was at the 1990 World Cup. John, you've been close to the South Africans for a long time. You were over there for quite a few days, watching them play against Zambia, and of course, helping set up this tour. Uh, what's the latest word? Because it was a little bit disappointing. Yes, they, they were very disappointed. And I think it's fair comment that they only had the two days to settle down. The ground was a little bit uh, slippery for them. They were without Dr. Kamalo, but that is to take away from Australia, who were quite superb in Adelaide, particularly on uh, in that first half. Uh, the South Africans wanted a dry field. They've got it. 
They've had a lot more time to acclimatise and one hopes that they can uh, show the Australian public here today the type of form they certainly showed me when I saw them beat Zambia over in Johannesburg only a couple of weeks ago. Kamalo's playing, Mudau there on the ball now, replaces Augustine, he's uh, the top scorer in the National League last year and uh, one hopes that, again that South Africa can show the Australian public what they're really capable of today. And we'll soon find out as South Africa get us away, running from the right to the left-hand side of our screens. It's good to see the conditions here are very good for football. Yesterday, of course, Australia played Ireland in a rugby international as Wade gets us underway. Aurelio Vidmar caused them so much trouble and heartache, particularly for the man marking him. No time. Good overlapping run by Lazaridis. Here he comes. And a bit of over-enthusiasm, perhaps, Lazaridis on his way to Greece. Joining Aris of Salonika there for around 400,000. He had a good game in the first one as well. And he's held his spot too. He's held playing his spot. Playing in midfield, not that uh, attacking fullback role today, more in a midfield role. And it's a role that suits him. I think he got a lot more opportunity to break from there without uh, the constraints of defending. And for me, it suits him better, that position, than uh, the sort of more traditional overlapping fullback role. Here's Tony Vidmar. Lazaridis. Good touch on for Wade. Long one there for Viduka to chase. He's been tagged by Tucker. Australia wearing their new strip. In comes the ball by Lazaridis. Motung. And Viduka's in there. He'll keep that in. And gets a nice looking ball in for Vidbar. A great move, a positive start yet again from the Socceroos. Well, a terrific start by Australia. They've proved it not just against the likes of South Africa. We saw them against Argentina and many, many quality opponents here to take the game to the opponent. Very uh, traditional Australian style. Uh, let's get stuck in them early on. Fish noticeable that he's dropped back uh, just in front of the centre-back combination. He's also a good offensive player. And a foul there by Stan Lazaridis. South Africa starting to find their rhythm, John, much quicker than what they did in Adelaide, which we were all expecting here at the football stadium in Sydney. Much better and uh, I mean it doesn't necessarily get you results but they really do open up and uh, have a go. Clive Barker the coach just on screen there saying that uh, the policy of the national side while he is his national coach is to come out and have a go. Is Clive there now? No goals yet at the Sydney Football Stadium. Just over 10 minutes into this second leg. Holak with interception, Tony Vidmar. Vaduka. In there again is Andrew Tucker. Ivanovic. Tony Vidmar. Alex Tobin. Again, they look for Rilio Vidmar. Tong away. Tobin, the last line of defence. Ivanovic. Another youngster, Mark Viduka. Vidmar. Good switch across, Lazaridis. Now, is there support in the box? There certainly is at the moment. There's plenty of options. And he couldn't get it in. He'll get another chance. Wade, looking for Polak. Compeller away. In it comes, Viduka. And confusion, and Murray almost pounced. Now, Vidba! who can't slot it away. The chance hasn't gone begging. And in the end, it was easy work for Crowley, but there was confusion at the back between Ciala and the keeper Crowley. And just maybe the Socceroos should have scored here, John. 
Yeah, unlucky, uh, but the real confusion. Siali and Crowley, the start of it. The Vidmar shot, and then Mori finally. Uh, the soccer is a little unlucky not to get ahead here. But it does show South Africa's weak point, and that is the communication at the back. I keep repeating uh, myself, I know, on South Africa, but Mouton, once that number two can start overlapping and getting involved, the more dangerous South Africa are going to be. And now it's Aurelio Vidmar trying to curl it around, and it was the right idea. 20 minutes into the game, Vidmar thought he might have been able to trap Crowley, who his sense was a bit off his line because Crowley would have had to drop back once they lost possession there. The right idea, and one of the stars now of uh, Australian soccer really benefiting from a professional career, had an outstanding game in Adelaide, is really involved again today. Could have had a hat-trick in Adelaide. And that was uh, a big opportunity for him there as well. But really has come ahead already a Vidmar. Just a real star player, leading the charge of many uh, quality Australian players being produced now. One hopes he gets a decent club in Europe. He's got standard Liège. He, uh... Well, I was a bit I, worried where he would head. Well, it, it's two or move, three clubs were interested. It's a move upwards for him, but I, I think he's a better player than even that. I think he can play at nearly the highest level. And now South Africa, all too deep. And Mutong again involved down the right, Andy. That cross coming from him. Lazaridis for the Duke at Tucker right there. Well, that 20 minute period that South Africa were worried about, not to concede that goal, let the team settle down, is over. Of course, it all uh, makes for a better match. Now, the Duke is in there fighting hard, so is Mori. And Wade! Just wide of the mark from the captain, Paul Wade. Australia are starting to open up the South African defence. The Duke are heavily involved. Mori in there as well. And Wade striking it wide. Siale has been closed down by Mori. The Duca will come as well. Compella giving it to the Duca. It's off for Mori. Back inside. Polak. They should score, surely. And the chance goes begging for the Socceroos in the 25th minute as Masinga handles the ball inside the Australian half. In international matches, John, these are chances that well, you should take advantage well, of. Well, not just chances, it's mistakes at the back by South Africa. That's the, the point we made about them a little earlier. They really are making too many errors at the back. And uh, as you say, uh, at international level, those types of chances really have to be put away by Australia. They've had too many of them in this first half, and the danger is in our type of game, you don't take them, the other team can catch you on the break and perhaps win the match. Duca trying to go all the way. Now Tony Vidmar, that's a good attempt. It was a difficult one to hit there. Tony Vidmar trying to get over the top of it. Here he is again. Remember the first time I saw Mark Viduka play in the Coca-Cola Soccer League last, not the season just completed, the previous season. His, his physique has changed consider, considerably in 12 months. He's grown in, in all areas and he's so sharp now and the game just continues to develop. Oh, that's free kick. Up goes Viduka. A bit of climbing by... Young Mark, how have you, actually, how have you seen Viduka? It's his second international. I think he's done everything th expected of him. He's very tightly marked. Uh, it is a, it's a tough role to play, and I, I think it's just a learning process for him. He really hasn't had that many opportunities at goal, but his general play is always available, always holding the ball up. Good, very good target man type. 
but I don't think there's any doubting uh, where he's headed or how good he's going to be. I think he's going to eventually be one of the best, if not the, one of the best player that uh, we've produced in this country. And he's played a lovely ball to Vidmar. That's a delightful cross. Well covered by the captain, Compella. Tovi, the former captain of the South African side. And now Mashwayu. Durakovic. Lazaridis away. Maduka's onside. Tucker held his hand up, but Compella was behind him. Still Vaduka, and he almost got it through for Vidmar. Lazaridis. In it comes for Mori. Back for Wade. The shot by Wade against the post. So close, but so far for Paul Wade. Vaduka, well, it looked like Toby had taken him. The referee didn't agree. He was right on the spot. But forgetting that incident for the moment, John, that's the second time Paul Wade has been in there. And it's the second time Wade has almost scored for his team. What a great ball back from uh, Murray here. And a nice little lesson here for young players. Uh, always not possible to go for goal, just lay it back for your teammate. Great play for Murray. Hard luck for Wadey. You say the second opportunity hits it well, just spinning away a little bit. And South Africa again let off the hook. Back to the Viduka, uh, the Viduka foul. I felt it was late from Tovey. Did catch him late. Referee uh, Lawrence allowing play to go on. But South Africa, I think, were looking for the ropes a little bit, aren't they, Andy? Yeah. They've really been up against it. It's been a very open game. They've had a go at Australia, but I think it's fair to say Australia well ahead on points. But if uh, Clive Barker can perhaps uh, get them through at half-time, uh, sort a few thing things out, particularly at the back, and that's where they've been vulnerable. They've played well in midfield, well up front. But all the mistakes have happened under pressure at the back. Hey, you can see Mark Leduca is not... He's no, not it was a late challenge on him. It was late. But uh, he's not intimidated. And it wasn't uh, Steve Compella. No, he's I think he's having <laughs> a go at Steve Compella. It wasn't Steve, it was uh, Neil Toby. Tobin to Vidmarts. A radar like sense between these Adelaide City players. The other thing that uh, South Africa will need if they can get in at half-time level is to really get the doctor performing, Dr. Kamalo. He hasn't really been in the game, certainly hasn't played anywhere near what he can do, what he can. He's either very, very hot or very, very cold. And so far for South Africa, he's been very, very cold. And look at this from Raduka. It's going to be tough for him to get through. Just too many numbers there for South Africa. And good decision from the referee. That wasn't a, wasn't a foul. Perhaps a little bit over optimistic there young mark with four opponents around him here's the doctor dr kamala tovi In there was Mehmet Jurakovic. Some great skills from Kamalo. And Vidmar got him in the... But that's the type of thing he can do. He's, uh, and we said before, he's either very hot or very cold. A very skillful player, one who wants to take players on all the time. He's going to have those types of games. There's Masinga. And the cross, the cross had come in from Siali. It was blocked by Ivanovic. And a body check on Masinga by Milan Ivanovic. To say the doctor heard us, isn't it, Andy? We're saying he hasn't been in the game. It's probably the last three, four minutes he's just started to do something. And this is a type of skill. Dr. Kamalo next to Siali. 
And the shot there from Toby. What a great shot. Wasn't it's far away. One. Hit with the outside of the foot bending in towards the goal. Neil Toby does a great job developing young players in uh, South Africa, and this is a type of uh, thing he'd be proud to show his young boys. He has a squad of under 12 players in South Africa. Uh, Andy, I have not seen a quality of player, 9, 10, 11 year olds like it anywhere in the world. They played the early game to the Zambia game in front of 64,000 fans. And Neil Toby, former captain of the team and now a member of the national team, doing a great job to develop South African youth. Although the South Africans upset with the decision, uh, the Durga was right in the middle there. The challenges from Siale and Tucker. Still no goals here at the Sydney Football Stadium. Australia have had the better of the play. Lazaridis. Did mar the flag up. Gordon Dunster, the linesman, the senior linesman here today. And the Victorian official Gordon Dunster heads off tomorrow to the World Cup along with Eugene Brazali. Canberra. Canberra. Oh, official. Canberra. Sorry, sorry. Mate. Oh, I'm so sorry. Canberra and, I was uh, thinking of Eugene. <laughs> yeah. Eugene from Victoria. Rated the, among the top 10 linesmen in the world. That's a That's big That's excellent, rap. isn't it? And good luck to them in the World Cup. And they'll be heading off uh, to Dallas. Here's Tovey. That's a great ball for Fish. And the shot in the end from the newly promoted player, Mudal. And now it's Jason Polak. He gets away from Fish. The Duke are up there. Polak might go solo. He will. Polak. Still Jason Polak. It deserves a goal. And it is a goal. That's one of the better goals you'll see from a soccer in a long, long time. Polak deserved everything there. He made the run from inside his heart. He took the money, big fish, and he finished off beautifully. A super goal. Great run, great finish, and couldn't come at a better time for Jason. Been on the verge of establishing himself in the national team for quite a while now. And really grabs this opportunity. A tremendous skill. Catches South Africa. Again, their Achilles heel is their defence. They get caught out so often. Jason's capitalised on it. And Australia ahead. And one must say deservedly, Andy, they've had the better of the game so far. And tremendous goal from Jason. And the South Melbourne midfielder splits the teams here. Schwarzer and he accepts the challenge and the single was the man in the middle. But Pollock, he made his debut for the Socceroos in the 1988 World Cup qualifying series under the uh, guidance of Frank Alec back then. Wade, Aurelio Vidmar. Captain, he struck the woodwork earlier. Paduka. Away. Vidmar. Mutonga is there. Flag up against Lazaridis. Lazaridis and Aurelio Vidmar, they play uh, so well together, they've had limited. And that role, I mean, you will get a different opinion. Should Lazaridis play as a so called uh, fullback or in midfield? And for me, he's much more effective in midfield. It gives him more freedom to go forward, to take risks, to overlap. I think sometimes when you're fullback, you tend to, to stay back a little bit, uh, worried about your marker. But that role for me suits him much better. And as you say, that combination with Aurelio Vidmar is quite potent for Australia. And Polak with a miscued clearance, Lazaridis dropping. Luton gets in there, Vidmar dropped in cover for Lazaridis. Ivanovic. Now not many sweepers would do that from the back. Toby came through. You just expect that from Milo Ivanovic.
the last five minutes of the first half. Aurelio Vidmar. Back for Ivanovic. They haven't played together for a number of seasons, but it doesn't show out in the middle. Vidmar's ball. Up goes Polak. Viduka, if he can turn. If he can just get that shot on target, it'd be interesting to see what might happen. Ball out of play. Vidmar. Lazaridis. Viduka. Viduka. That defence holding firm this time. And Vidmar was holding on, although just maybe Dr. Kamalo should have been allowed to play on. Tovey. Kamalo. This is much, much better from South Africa. Masinga just spraying it wide, but the build-up is important for them. They've got it right this time, but just that last shot. And uh, Dr. Kamalo involved. He's coming more and more into the game. That's a good sign for South Africa, and also the fans here, because he's a very skillful player. He is by far the biggest sportsman in terms of popularity and greatness in South Africa. He was a very uh, key person uh, in terms of promotion in the election of uh, Nelson Mandela for the ANC. It's like a sportsman here being, being one of the main uh, promoters for any uh, political party, which doesn't happen. But over there, Kamalo was. And uh, let's hope that the Australian fans are going to see a lot more of his skills in this uh, match. Well, we understand that several million people in South Africa are watching 22, this. 22 million. That's not a... Are watching not a, this game. Not a rubbish figure we get on some other sports here. That is a genuine figure. It's the national sport of South Africa by far bigger than any other sport or all other sports combined. Oh, that almost looked good for Mori, didn't it? And the telecast there, Andy, going at 8 o'clock Sunday morning, so it's an ideal time for uh, sports fans over there. Yeah, it was difficult for them to uh, watch it lunchtime back in South Africa on Wednesday night. The Duca. And broadcast in 10 languages. And a rare blemish from Tony Vidmar. Well, now South Africa have to score twice to force the uh, series into sudden death extra time. So tactically, John uh, will probably see them maybe make a change or just uh, push one of the midfielders forward a bit. But they need goals. Or a change up front. It depends how much Augustine is injured. He's their uh, top striker. He uh, didn't start today because of a minor injury. Perhaps I'll risk him in the second half. The important thing about this series, it's, going, it's the start of a, a continuing series between Australia and South Africa. And that's a great effort from Mutong. Well, there's our point, Andy. He is such a key player. He has to participate in attack. And every time he does, they look dangerous. His problem is, as it was on Wednesday night, is that uh, he has to mark Aurelio Vidmar. That's, that's a great effort. The outside of the foot, just a little wide. But this is the start of a continuing series with South Africa. They are going to be the force uh, because of lots of reasons, facilities, uh, organisation, finance. They are going to be one of the leaders in African football. And to be involved with them day one is very, very good for Australia. And when Australia play there, perhaps uh, it's going to be next year. They'll play in front of crowds of 80, 85,000 fans over there. It's, uh, again, by far the biggest sport, the sport of the people, as it is uh, in every country throughout the world. Now, Mori. Julio Vidmar looking to lay it off. He's got to go back to Polak. Jurakovic. Trying to slot it through for Mori. Well, they're on. Ooh, that was uh, Viduka or Vidmar. I would say Viduka. And uh, Dunster, is, uh, our linesman, is right. 
Although come World Cup, of course, linesmen and referees being instructed to give any marginal decisions to the attacking team. The Duke on the yeah, far left. Yeah, there's no doubt that uh, Mark was offside. Mutong in there again. Ivanovic. So one and a half minutes of stoppages played. Richard Lorenz checks his watch. And that's it, the first half. John, how did you see the first Well, a very, very uh, open, very entertaining match. The Socceroos again playing well. South Africa much better than they were the other night. And I think that no one would disagree that uh, Australia on chances created had been the better side. And a great goal from Jason Pollock. Congratulations to Jason. There's no doubt Tony Vidmar saying to him there, let's hope more of the same in the second half. A great first half for the Socceroos of Australia. They are leading South Africa by one goal to nil. Richard Lorenz is checking with the fourth official, Peter Spires. They're all happy on the sideline. And the goal scorer, Polak, across to Tony Vidmar. No changes to the Socceroos. Paduka, back for Vidmar. He's looking for Wade. It's a good ball and a good run. He's got support there in Mori. Wade. Just trying to see where Tinkler will come into the formation for South Africa. He's in the heart of the defence at the moment. And he's marking Wade. Up goes Wade. Stephen Crowley beaten at the near post by Polak. Missed by Tony Vidmar. Polak. Mori. The Duker on his right. And then he could have again on, and the Aussies thought that Mori was fouled. What they've done, Andy, is uh, moved Tinkler into midfield. Fish has gone out of midfield into that left fullback role. Mark Fish is only 20 years of age. He's uh, one of the dynamos in midfield, but I must say he had a very quiet first half and whether that's the reason they've moved him into a more defensive role. He's on the ball now and he's one of the players that they're to build their World Cup bid for uh, 98 around, only 20 years of age and he's now gone into Siali's role as left fullback. Here he is now, he couldn't get it through from Ashway with the number 10 who was overlapping on the right, Ivanovic. And Lazaridis has to drop, Tobin's there in support. He finds Viduka. And that constant shadow in the number three, Andrew Tucker away. Tovey in there and Lazaridis in cover for Australia. Ashwau, and it came off Aurelio Vidmar. Scored seven goals for Vadagem. And unfortunately for that club, they were relegated from the Belgian First Division. Tony Vidmar. Now Lazaridis again. Aurelio Vidmar, and he broke away. Very disappointed the advantage wasn't played. Ivanovic. Polak. Wade. Oh, 
Vidmar drawing Moton and will take him on. Looks up, Wade in support, a dangerous looking ball. Tony Vidmar trying to get in there. And it's the doctor, Dr. Kamalo, in possession now for South Africa. Ivanovic, Polak, Duka. A tough one for Wade. John Mashwayu looking for the return. Here's Mashwayu. And Jason Polak read the play well. Lidmar on for Polak. Good run, Mori. Too strong for him. Now the flag's up anyway. Wade away again. Tucker there. Vidma and Motong. Can't get away from Mashwayu. Compeller forward. Masinga. Tovi. Kamalo to Fish. Ivanovic blocking the pass from Tovi. Wade. Ivanovic. Maduka. Polak. Now Mori. One of the rare times he's had a bit of space. Still Mori. He lays it off for Aurelio Vidmar. Good drink and turn and Vidmar. Trying to trick the keeper. He did everything right in the lead up. And maybe he should have struck it firmer. Trying to catch Crowley off guard. Mori, a good ball. Great skills from Vidmar. Fish getting it away. He's young. Tovey. And Lazaridis. Still stand Lazaridis, he shoots and a good one too. Well saved to the new post by Crowley. Stan Lazaridis almost punishing him for a bad error at the back. The beauty of Lazaridis is a former forward. But when he does get the opportunity, he also knows how to hit it. Crowley having a big game for South Africa, that's a good save. John Markovsky up there, and Crowley came as Wade was trying to put some pressure on that keeper. Young, Durakovic. Ivanovic. Tony Vidmar. Twenty minutes up in this second half. Australia leading, one goal to nil. Compella. Mutong. And the captain. Just 24 years of age. Up goes Tobin. Lazaridis winning that duel with Tinkler. Now Wade, he goes for Polak. Someone in the crowd blowing a whistle. Lazaridis keeping it. Whoa. No. I'll go with Gordon Dunster. Mid 
midway through this second half. The Coca-Cola Soccer is ahead. Aurelio Vidmar. And that will be a Socceroo throw in. Viduka. Lazaridis. Ivanovic. Tony Vidmar taking off on the right. And he played inside to Wade. Wade has a bit of space. He might. No, I thought he won't go for goal, but he's played it to Vidmar. Crowley clears. And now, South Africa, Djurakovic back to his keeper. And the defence pulled away to give Schwartz uh, better options. Ivanovic. And again, it's for Duka. The challenge by Kamalo paid off as Young tried to get in there. Ahead of Ivanovic. The oldest player on the pitch, Milan Ivanovic at 33. And age is no barrier for this man now, Lazaridis. A good looking ball inside. And Wade was on the ground there if he could have got back up, but he put in a, a desperate lunge for that cross. You'll see here. Again, it's Polak, the goal scorer with a corner kick. Kick John Markovsky lining up at the back. And Tony Vidmar. Thought he was obstructed. And just maybe Masinga's case. Uh, there's a, a scout out here looking at him. The prospect of joining an English First Division club. There's no chance Young will get that. by Viduka. Tong and intercepted by Lazaridis. Aurelio Vidmar. And it's like they've been playing together for several years. Lazaridis, a light, delightful ball. Now Horvat! And what a uh, debut. First touch. It could have been for him. Mickey, Mickey Peterson style, I believe. Uh, Mickey with his yep. first touch. This would have been another Melbourne boy with his first touch. Soccer level scoring. There's around uh, 10 minutes of normal time left in the Nelson Mandela Friendship Series. Australia have used their two substitutes. Two field players can be changed and one goalkeeper. Well, have they in fact changed it? Because Dominic Longo was warming up. Zaridis going deep, a bit too much on it for Markovsky. The overhead by Fish. No, rather, that's Fish in possession there. Looks inside for Tovey. Vidmar back for Markovsky. Here's Tovey.
Tobin and Masinga. Lazaridis on. Ashwayu. Otong. Compella. Jurekovic holding on. Water comes, spills it, gets it at the second attempt, but it's loose again. Wade away. Mishwau. Mutong trying to break away from Lazaridis. He does. Wade across in cover. Mishwau. Now Young. In there was Jurakovic and covering for him Milan Ivanovic with Vidmar in support. Toby with an interception. It comes off Wade. And really in the second half have we seen that. And when South Africa needed a goal desperately, it almost looked like it might have come off from there, John. And this uh, trip has been very much a learning one for South Africa. Again, they've only played some 19 internationals since returning to FIFA. They haven't been pa uh, participating in youth championships like Australia have at uh, under 17 or under 20 level or Olympic level. They'll be coming into all that now. And uh, it won't be long before they start to produce... Uh, well-educated, uh, if you like, uh, soccer player like Australia is producing now. Within a decade, they will be right up there with the very best in Africa and are, in fact, Andy, wanting to stage uh, the World Cup in the year 2006 as part of the African continent bid. Not a country, but the African continent bid to stage the 2006 World Cup. With games, uh, group matches in the likes of uh, Egypt, Ghana, Cameroon, Zambia, and the main games in South Africa where they have splendid stadia, real football grounds, not uh, your cricket ovals. And certainly fulfil the requirements of FIFA in that respect. Well, it did really look like the Duke might have been a little bit obstructed there. in the last minute of normal time. The Duca. Tovi. Mashwayu. Getting away from Lazaridis. Kamalo. Tovi. We're playing injury time now. Injury time, Australia ahead 1-0. Kamalo. Ivanovic on, Maduka. Singer back, Mutong. Tony Vidmar there for Australia. Now Ivanovic. Away now for Aurelio Vidmar. Yeah. 
Ivanovic. Flag up for offside. Kamalo getting it through for Toby. Mutong, Masinga. Mashwayu. Kamalo on for Young. Aurelio Vidmar. Seventeen thousand seven hundred and sixty nine fans here at the Sydney Football Stadium. They've probably seen a match of contrasting halves. There was excellent first half in Indy. I think it dropped away a little in the second half, and a lot of that was attributable to South Africa tightening up. They tightened midfield, eliminated Australia a little bit there, were much tighter at the back, didn't make the same elementary mistakes uh, they made in the, in the uh, first half. the full-time whistle. Australia victorious by one goal to nil. The same scoreline in the first leg of the Nelson Mandela Friendship Series in Adelaide last Wednesday night. What is really a, a relatively young soccer lineup with uh, so many of the overseas stars injured or unavailable for this series. The soccer is today under the guidance of Les Scheinflug. You can't ask for much more than uh, two wins out of two. And some outstanding performances. I think uh, we made the point during the call, but Aurelio Vidmar, a player of world class, uh, not, to, not to say that the others aren't, but, but just has matured so much since, being, uh, since playing professionally in Europe. Quite outstanding. When you look back on this series, he could well have had half a dozen goals. Lazaridis uh, caught the eye as well, but at the back, uh, very, very safe. Ivanovic, Djurakovic and Tobin. And good experience for the youngsters like Amori, Vaduka, Horvath coming on, Polak, uh, and what a great goal from him. But let's pay tribute to South Africa too. It's not uh, easy to travel uh, unless you've travelled 24 hours and tried to play afterwards. You don't realise how disorienting that is. And the fact that they hung in there against the odds and in the second half really shared a lot of the spoils with the Socceroos is a, a great credit to them. And again, they are going to be a power. There is no doubt it is the word in Africa, all throughout African football, of some 53 nations. They all look to South Africa as being the leader within the next decade. And uh, we look forward to that day and, uh, and of course, more games between the Socceroos and uh, South Africa. And who were the standout performers for Australia? Australia, well, I, I think it's always unfair to pick out. I mean, it, Ivanovic, uh, Tobin and Djurakovic always play so well. I mean, they, they, they just are faultless. But uh, to catch the eye, the Lazaridis uh, for me and also Aurelio Vidmar. And uh, let's not forget Jason Pollack goal. What a goal. Uh, one he's going to remember for the rest of his life. We're just awaiting the official presentation of the, the Friendship Trophy. It's being presented to Paul Wade. By Stix Morewa. Stix is the head of uh, football in South Africa, one of the most powerful men uh, in African football. He was responsible for getting South Africa back into, uh, into the world scheme of things. But there's Wadey, 101 games for Australia. Well done, Wadey. Uh, we did pay tribute at a function here the other day to him that he's been uh, a great credit, not just on the field, but uh, off the field in the uh, way he's represented not just uh, Australia, but uh, also our football and uh, good to see Wadey there with a trophy in one hand and the can of Coke in the, the other. Can of Coke, yeah. <laughs> okay, on that note, uh, on behalf of Johnny Warren and the rest of us up in the commentary team, uh, of course, look forward to World Cup action coming up later this week. But let's cross now to Alan Gaskell.
Well, a 2-0 series victory to Australia in this very uh, historic series. The first time the two countries, Australia and South Africa, have played together for 39 years. 1-0 in Adelaide, and here in Sydney this afternoon, 1-0. Don't forget, the 1994 World Cup begins next weekend. You'll see all the action live and exclusive here on SBS Television. We're all looking forward immensely to bringing the excitement from the United States to you, and I hope you'll join us next weekend. But for now, on behalf of all of us from SBS TV, Alan Gaskell wishing you all good night.